The man who served as the head of St. Louis Lambert International Airport for more than two decades was laid to rest today. Fox 2's Patrick Clark shows you how retired Air Force Colonel Leonard Griggs is being remembered. It was one last mission past the place he was so proud of for more than 21 years as head of St. Louis Lambert International Airport. A procession of family and friends following the late Colonel Leonard Griggs passing the airport onto his final resting place of Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery. He loved the city of St. Louis. He loved the people. He loved the vision of the future. Griggs was a graduate of the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. He spent 23 years in the Air Force and was a decorated combat pilot in Vietnam who was awarded the Silver Star and two Purple Hearts for his service. He had two Purple Hearts, 22 Air Medals, four Distinguished Flying Crosses, the Vietnamese Medal of Honor, and the Silver Star. At Scott Air Force Base in the Military Airlift Command in the 1970s, he would later make his way to St. Louis Lambert International Airport. There he served from 1977 to 1987, and again from 1993 until his retirement in 2004. With his handlebar mustache and sometimes brusque approach, he oversaw the $1 billion airport runway expansion. Once he retired, he took us all on grandparents and grandchildren trips overseas. The, the parents didn't get to go, but I will never forget our first trip with him. He forgot his mustache wax at home, and we spent the entire first day in London trying to hunt some down, which in London it was easy to find. It didn't take too long, but he, he loved his mustache. It was amazing. Griggs' family says his dedication to the airport and his country is what he will most be remembered for. Get up, vote, serve your country, be proud to be American. That's, that's what he would want everyone to know. At Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News.